Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Thank you for joining me today. I would like to take a quick look at the rib feature of creation and fusion. I was playing around with creating a ribs a few days ago and was surprised at the different ways you can generate a rib in fusion. In fact, I found it hard not to generate some kind of rib um, inside of fusion. So, with that in mind, uh, on this screen I have uh, generated a simple 2x4x3 by by flange on uh, which I'm going to place a couple of ribs. So uh, first off I'll just create an offset plane and we'll just scoot it out there a little bit. Now before I start my sketch I thought I'd come up here to my preferences just in case and um, let you know that under the design I have my auto project geometry on active sketch plane checked and also uh, auto project edges on reference uh, and I unchecked allow 3D sketch of lines and splines so that way I'm not grabbing other points or geometry so just to give you a heads up on that so I'm just gonna take a sketch I'll place it out here on that plane and I'll uh, select a line and I'm not gonna add a a uh, lot of dimensions so yes I can sit there and uh, continue to dimension this uh, put an angle and whatnot but just for um, ease sake we're just gonna uh, do without that so what I did just and you can see it all to project those edges and I have my line so I'm gonna come to the create panel and go to the rib function and you can see it's asking me to select a curve or line I'm just gonna select this line and right away you can see that it's held my previous um, my previous example quarter inch width and I went to next and uh, sometimes it'll come in odd it'll look like this you just flip direction uh, it's not a problem I can go symmetric I can do one direction so that's not a problem uh, the other thing I thought was pretty neat was uh, the depth so I can come and place a depth in here and put Two five and I get almost uh, I guess you consider it almost like a knee brace so I thought that was a pretty slick feature so we'll just step with next all right uh, let's try another one uh, next let's uh, just push that down there someplace and I'll start a sketch and I'm going to come over here and choose a spline and I'll just come out here oh, I don't know looks good to me so um, I'll just stop the sketch go to the rib feature this is the one that kind of took me I wasn't sure that this would uh, even generate but um, there you go have a um, pretty nice feature in there and again uh, just like the others I can also put a depth in there if I want so if I want one two five eh, put a nice scroll feature in there but um, I thought that one was um, that's pretty good I like that one um, let's see let's try another one and again uh, some of these may come as you well know, not come as a shock I should say but uh, one that's um, pretty probably pretty familiar I'll just come out here All right, stop the sketch and again I could certainly uh, edit and dimension this any way I like but we're just trying to so select and there you go and again uh, the option for the depth is is still there too so um, you can add a pretty pretty nice feature that way I guess the last one is uh, which I kind of found um, took me a little bit by surprise but um, I can come in and I am just going to apply uh, just a line I'm just gonna put a line it's not really attached to anything it's just kinda out there and again I can certainly dimension this and put an angle whatnot but uh, uh, 
uh, with no major effect but the other neat thing I just thought this was uh, kind of cool so place a rib uh, I'm going to select that and um, just say to next and what it does it extends in both directions to form a rib so um, that one I think was pretty neat I think this is the one that it, the depth is the only one it I don't know if this works yes it does so either way I can place a depth which I thought that was pretty neat but I mean I we don't want our geometries hanging out there in the middle of nowhere so this one is something that um, we wouldn't do but uh, what I found I thought kind of odd was that it even allows to create a rib um, with geometry that's really not attached to anything so you know, that's um, I just found that one kind of odd so uh, that's a quick look at fusion ribs uh, I'm sure that there are other ways to utilize the rib feature uh, these just happen to be a few that I found I hope you enjoy this and have given you a new insight into how to use fusion rib feature um, Thank you for joining me. Until next time, this is Dave Breiner.